Hello dear Goinkans, in the last topic we covered flowchart. What is flowchart and what are the different types of box and what are their functions. So in the previous uh, video we have seen all the boxes that, are, that we use in making a flowchart. Today we are going to see how we write a program, how we write an algorithm or the steps in the flowchart. <coughs> so as you all can see I have already drawn the structure what are we going to use for flowcharts the first example is calculate the sum difference and product of two numbers so for the very uh, when we start for the very beginning we use a start or stop box as you all can see on the screen this is a start box so we'll write start now we'll move to the next box this box is known as input or output box so when we started our writing our um, program which uh, which is to calculate the sum difference and product of two numbers so the first thing that we need in input box is two numbers so i'll write input two numbers a and b so these will be my two numbers on which we will perform the operations so this box is processing box and in processing box we give the command what he has to do so i'll write sum because the first is sum so I'll write sum is equal to a plus b so the first instruction is do the sum of two numbers that is a and b and uh, you have to remember one thing if you are writing if you are writing this um, what we call uh, you're taking uh, numbers as capital so you have to use them till the end in capital form only so once the sum processing is done we'll again use the input output book uh, box to just print the sum so we'll write print sum sum is a command in which put we have already given the operation that is to be performed on the sum in processing box now we'll use difference difference is equal to a minus b after difference processing is done we'll write print difference so whatever the command difference is carrying it will be printed through this we have to write d capital otherwise it it will be two different terms then we'll say product is equivalent to a into b so this will be product so we'll just write print product as we all know our both uh, are all the three operations are done so we'll write here stop so this is how we write an algorithm for a simple algorithm now let's just take another algorithm a simple algorithm the process of making t we all know the process of making t we'll just start and then the next is we'll take pan we can just uh, give all the input in one input output box as well so we'll just write everything here take pan water what he has to take sugar what else we need to make a tree tea leaves what else we need uh, and milk this is all what we need to make a tree so i have given all the instructions in one input output box only so to make an algorithm short now process the first thing is we'll put pan put pan on the gas and pour water into it so this is uh, this is the first step that we're going to follow so it's processing so means in processing whatever we are writing those instructions takes place so we just pour a pan on the pour uh, then we'll turn on the gas turn on the gas because we have already taken the pan and water into it then we'll put some tea leaves into it put some tea leaves when the water boils so next will be sorry boils the next step will be 
put some sugar and add milk to it then what will be the our next step then we have to pour it and so we'll write after processing when all this is done take off the pan from the gas take off the pan from gas this is all what we need to do now our what will be the art what will be our output that we know uh, output will be steve sieve t sieve sorry sieve it in a cup sieve the tea in a cup and serve it sieve it in a cup and serve the tea then we'll just stop so this was an algorithm to make tea now let's move to a complex algorithm where we have to use the conditions as well so you know what we'll do is the next algorithm will be flow chart to find the greatest number among the two numbers so we'll start you know three conditions will be there when we are writing an algorithm for the greatest number so again in input we need only two numbers that is a and b that's it but the condition in condition box the f very first condition that we're going to face is first is a equal to b so two conditions will be there either it will be uh, yes or it will be no so let's just so if it is yes we'll move to this side if it is yes so we'll write a statement both numbers are equal this will be the output on the screen that both numbers are equal if the number okay, uh, were the same now if the numbers are no, not same then there can be two things either a is b uh, a or b a is greater than b or so if a is greater than b will again have two conditions here that will be yes or no you know why no is not getting displayed so i'll just make it little so that it gets displayed just a second so we'll be having two conditions either yes or no so if no this side will be taken now let's just see yes so if yes we'll go to this side is a greater or greater than b if yes then we'll write a is then what we'll write is a is greater this will be our statement if a is not greater than b b is greater so we'll write if a is not greater than b our statement would be this b is greater you can again check it we'll be having two numbers a and b the very first condition will be is a equal to b and if yes then we'll write both numbers are equal if no we'll move to another condition that is is a greater than b if yes we'll write a is greater if no we'll write b is greater but you have to remember you have to take all the flow lines to the stop where whenever a condition is true it should stop at the same time so this was all about algorithms how we write algorithms in uh, de depicting our problems thanks thank you and take care